Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement where I am binging on the episodes I have not seen yet to catch up to apparently the episode of X-Men 97. This is episode four and I, I don't know, episode three was a... They actually took Scott and Jean who just had their baby and they're about to leave and try to live a life in the suburbs, I'm guessing. And these story creators actually said, hold the phone. We're just not going to stop them with some big world event. Oh, no, no. We are going to throw in a clone of Jean. Not just a clone. The original from Sinister. So now this baby is part Sinister and Scott and Jean, which is what I think I remember from the original series he kind of wanted for a while. But and then and then he was boiling the baby in something and gave it a virus and now Bishop had to take said baby to the future to save it. Meanwhile, Jean knew or Jean, baby mama, Jean was going to destroy everybody until originally Jean like reminded her and then she left and now she's Madeline and what the fuck just happened? I am shocked and awed, shocked and awed. So what are we gonna get next? I know what you cool, but I'm so excited to get in there and I'm so glad you are here with me as well. So we're gonna get under the big cozy blanket. I have my X-Men drinking game supply in hand. Only had to take one last time for that secret baby reveal. What? That was a big one. But if you are playing along, rules are simple. We're going to take a drink. Anytime somebody gets the drop, on our gang. Yeah, anytime anybody gets to drop on the X-Men or somebody's way of telling someone to calm down is just listen to me. And then um, third one is a relationship reveal or a secret baby. I'm trying to think of last episode we had any of the other ones, but I was just so shocked. And what is happening? I didn't, I don't think I paid close enough attention. I don't know, but here we go. Okay, so yeah, ready y'all? <laughs> Let's get to it. We got fortune there. Here, take some cream with it. Ah, uh, thanks, Remy. But our new boss beat you to the pot. It's three sugars. Oh. I'll take a cappuccino if you just take an orders. <laughs> Luckily, I am giving them. After breakfast, the X-Men will report to the danger room for drills. We must be ready should Mr. Sinister resurface. I think it's also funny that most of their drills seem to include beating Magneto. Sure, our youngest member deserves some jubilation on her 18th birthday. Jubilee will see far more birthdays should she learn to master her powers to face a world that despises her. Someone's daddy didn't get him a pony for his sweet 16th. Somebody's My daddy was killed mm -hmm, was in the war. How do you want to celebrate the big 18th, huh? Big shocker, I know, but... Let's go to the arcade. It'll be just like old times. Ah, oh, old times when there were arcades. I guess there's a few now. Yeah, there's a few now, but the games aren't the same. What's wrong with just one day where I don't have to freak out about the professor or Jean and her clone or Cyclops and his latest control issue? You actually do play video games? This one isn't mine. Never even heard of a- Oh, it's Jumanji! It's Jumanji! Rogue said they had some surprises. Oh, yeah, someone might have, she might think that somebody gave it to her for a birthday present. Whoa, what's it doing? Jumanji is what it's doing! <gasps> and Superman 3! Superman 3! Tron. I could have gone with Tron. Your powers. Wait a second. Matrix. A trap. Uh, hello? Genosha? But like way back when, Genosha? With the bridge. <laughs> Not the bridge, the dam. All enslaved to build by Bolivar Trap. The dude who created the Sentinels? Because <gasps> they want you to build the dam. I didn't do that. Maybe it was her. Hello? Sister Error. Pay 
attention to the young lady. Mojo! Mojo here, your primetime psycho interdimensional alien TV producer who feeds off ratings. My greatest hit? Putting the X-Men through overly complicated death traps to entertain my slaves! Looks like you've been dieting? You notice! It's been a horrible third quarter and it shows, let's be real. That's why I made the pivot to video games, the future of mind numbery! Yes. Every level is based off your own memories. So how does she get out? This is the dream jubilee. Be young forever. Replay the golden hits. No growing up. The old X-Men are totally old school. Who's the boss? Magneto. Storm. Different worlds. Divorce court. Summers versus Gray. <gasps> That's not X-Men. Game on. Oh no. Here we go. I was gonna say they were gonna have them go against each other. Oh, it is the game. Look at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's Roberto done? To earn 200 points. Probably find a way out of here. What's the rush? These levels are taking me back. Jubes, listen to yourself. Oh, this so far? You gotta grow up. Otherwise, reality will smack you right in the face. Ah! This talkie talkie scene. Game over? Where did he go? Battle time, baby! Where did he go? I am Magneto. Oh, is this planet Asteroid M? Did I die? Almost. I found an extra life. Someone is definitely helping us. Bow before the Lord of Magnetism. Ooh. What? Huh? No need for thank you, among friends. I hacked you out of the game server and into Mojo's broadcast servers to buy us some time. She's a plot twist. She's in league with Mojo. This is it, Acosta. Like I said, we go way back. Why? I'm gonna hit pause here for a second. I got a few questions. Yeah. Explain everything. You gotta test a game before launch. Mojo needed beta testers, digital replicas of me. I'm the only one left. I've played these levels inside and out. Before Mojo killed the beta, I figured out a glitch and hacked my way through here before deletion. I know a part of you wants to hang here. It's nice knowing how every stage ends oh but that's not living life's a total risk and it's on you take it now what do you say we destroy mojo's game and get you two lovebirds out of here two jubilees cheaters final boss i was wondering when we we're gonna get to the final boss level Yeah, do you want to get in on the action there, Jubilee? So I just realized Mojo's crowd are kind of like people watching others play on Twitch, right? That's how that works. Time to end you, nasty glitches. Is that the end of Mojo? Is it? Is it? Burn it! Burn it! You could've... Yeah. 
Talk about risk. Oh, oh, okay. We got more than one one thing going down. <laughs> What's that look for? <laughs> You're very kind. Well, a friend of Charles Xavier is a friend of mine. I owe that fellow a great deal. May I ask? I was a soldier. There was a war. Your mutant gifts have allowed you to fix yourself. What a blessing. Wasn't anything to fix. Just adapted and got a little creative. Let's go for a ride. On a motorcycle? Are we going old school the horse? Old school with the horse. Jeez. It's gonna make her fly off the cliff? <laughs> the goddess lives. Beautiful, isn't it? If I'm not gonna fly off the end, maybe, yeah. The real trick to reversing what the executioner did to you wasn't making an inverted version of its radiation. It was creating a machine that could safely channel such power. Who took that photo? I wonder. Ready? Okay, Aurora. Give it a try. Winds? Heed my command. That was my question. Does she always have to say sort of a poem to get her powers to work? I am Storm, mistress of the elements. Please. Please. This isn't happening, Forge. What's your first attempt? It's only your first attempt. Why is fixing me so important to you? Storm. Mm. After the war, I didn't have the resources to build what I so easily saw in my mind. The Defense Department offered to help me. As long as I helped them build some devices, Devices that could be used to neutralize dangerous mutants. No, no, no. You made these? A scientist in Scotland did. Using my early design, I left the government by then. If I told you the truth in Dallas, you wouldn't have let me help you. So you lied. It hasn't all been lies. This, this is not a lie. No. Don't you dare. I could live forever, and still my endless imagination would never conceive of a thing as perfect as you. Perfect. Aurora, look at me. Look, I'll say it once, just once. I love you. You meant to make me a goddess. Instead, you have fashioned a fool. So much drama! This is such a soap opera! <gasps> Are you gonna fly? Why did she fall? How did I return here? <laughs> um. What the hell? What is this? Get out of my home, you damn demon! <laughs> what is this? Is this death? No. You live. Trapped here, haunted. Suffering. I feast on misery. And I, the adversary, Shall not waste my meal. Where, where? Where did this thing come from and why? Why and where? We're gonna discuss.
where do I even begin? I'll begin with the end, only because it's fresh. Er, why and where? Why? This this thingy thing, big crow, raven, ah, ah, appears from nowhere and goes after. This is why I appreciate editing and watch because I can slow it down and listen again and again because for some reason halfway through the closed captioning turns off on these episodes. I don't know why. What is this thing and why? And Forge is in love with Aurora. Love is in the air on, on X-Men. Everyone's falling in love and wow. Wow. And Forge made the callers. Did we know that? I don't remember if I knew that or not, but wow. And Jubilee and Roberto. <laughs> Guess that was, I, it was fun. And it was interesting seeing X-Men back in time, revisiting the arcades of the nineties. Did we learn anything? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Eh, it was just a fun time. I think that was the point of the first one. First part, Mo Motendo, is to bring back Mojo. Why? I don't know why. Is he dead for reals? <laughs> and just to relive some old memories. But then we butted it up with Aurora. Aurora. And Forge sitting in a tree. P-I-S-S-E-D-O-F-F. -S -S -E She's pissed off. So we've got a raven thing of death. And that's where we left off. We got a raven crow thing of death. Yay! Okay. So we go. Episode four. Thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. I do appreciate each and every one of you. So do not be a stranger. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. And this is your reminder. If you have not in a while, stand. I haven't stand stood in a while. So I'm going to stand, do some stretches, touch my toes. If you also haven't, go eat something and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.